فيها شيء مميز عن غيرها انه الايز مانو موجود بي موجود بس بلبنان وموجود هون بهالمنطقه بكترا فكتير حلو نحافظ عليه انه يبين هو رمز لنا واصلا موجود بالعالم اللبناني يعني حلو نحافظ عليه they have programs like you bring people or students and they plant trees and when they plant trees when you plant trees you get attached to to, to, mm. to the trees and you cannot burn anymore and you cannot cut trees anymore this is very important ضروري لان عايشين نحن ببيروت مش عارفين حالهم قد ايه عم ينقذوا وفي عندنا مطارح صار حلوه مثل هو يعني لازم يطلعوا العالم كله There is a special place in the mountains southeast of Beirut where an incomparable beauty mingles with the careful work of man where massive centuries old trees cast their shadows on landscapes that embrace the blue color of the Mediterranean Sea and the snowy peaks of mountains that reach 2000 meters in height there a delicate work of integration between land nature and history has helped to draw a valuable model for sustainable development. This place is the Shouf Biosphere Reserve, located in the southern part of Mount Lebanon. 50,000 hectares of protected land, over 500 hectares of cedar forests, 520 different varieties of plants, 32 species of mammals, a heaven for migratory birds, a refuge for species threatened with extinction. محمية أرز الشوف الطبيعية هي أكبر محمية طبيعية بلبنان بتشكل مساحتها حوالي 2% من مساحة لبنان هي آخر امتداد للأرز اللبناني جنوب الكرة الأرضية وبتحتوي على 25% من الأرزات من غابات الأرز المتبقية في في بلبنان حوالي 520 هكتار والمحمية هي منطقة هامة للطيور المهاجرة وكذلك بال2005 صنفتها اليونسكو كمحمية مدى حيوي وكانت الأولى بلبنان The cedars constitute the heart and soul of this delicate ecosystem, which stretches from Daha al Baidar on the north to the mountains of Nicha in the south. These cedars are the emblem of Lebanon, symbol of resistance, strength, and fertility. They are mentioned in the most ancient texts and were a source of inspiration for poets. The cedars of Lebanon have featured prominently in the writings of all the ancient civilizations that came into contact with them. Here in these valleys, in the silence that surrounds the Shouf Reserve, the cedar shows its most immediate qualities, a quiet and majestic beauty. The cedars grow almost entirely on the western slopes of the reserve, where they draw the maximum benefit from the moisture of the sea. Here we find the three cedar forests, the Mahasar al Shouf, Baruch, and Ein Zalta. In Lebanon, this tree grows at between 1,200 and 1,800 meters. In the other forests, the cedars are mixed with 24 other species of trees, including the cypress oak, the bear plum, the Calabrian pine, the stone pine, the Greek juniper, the brands oak, the Kermes oak. Some species are endemic to the reserve, while others are common to several countries in the Mediterranean, Middle East, or Caucasian region. This is one of the most important ecosystems in the entire Middle East. الهدف الأساسي من إنشاء المحمية هي الحفاظ على الإرث الطبيعي والحضاري اللي موجود بالمحمية وبالمنطقة المحيطة فيها وطبعاً بنوصل لهذا الهدف بعبر عدة برامج ونشاطات من نفذة بالتعاون مع المجتمع المحلي المحيط بالمحمية وأهم برنامج السياحة البيئية وبرنامج التنمية الريفية وبرنامج التوعية البيئية Even before
before the reserve was legally established, the Shuf cedars received, luckily, some protection. During the troubled years of the Lebanese Civil War, the efforts to preserve the cedars were led by the Druze political leader, Walid Jumblat, who has his family home in the Shuf. And his commitment is still continuing. Today, Walid Jumblat is the president of the executive committee of the Al Shuf Cedars Society, while his wife, Nora, also well known for her environmental concerns in the Shuf, is one of the advisors. Today, our dream is to be able to uh, really uh, have something left for a future generation. This is our duty. It is only, it's a dream, but it's duty also to preserve, preserve, preserve. Basically, this is the main word that we have among everybody in the, uh, in the team in the Cedars of Reserve. Uh, it's just basically to be able to leave something for future generations. We have to, we have, we are aware now. We can't blame other generations before, but now we are aware of what we have. And, and it's, it's going. It's, it's unfortunately with climate change and warming and so on. We see the, the Cedar Reserves receding, I mean, trees. Uh, it's, it's a dangerous situation. The Al Shuf Cedar Society, which has managed the reserve since it was founded in 1996 in cooperation with the governmental committee and under the umbrella of the Minister of Environment, has set as its goal an integrated development model which is environmentally friendly. This is not only for environmental reasons, but also to make the surrounding 24 villages of the region benefit from it. The activities of the reserve, therefore, fall into five broad programs that include research, rural development, environmental awareness, capacity building, and of course, ecotourism. هو تمتين العلاقة مع المجتمع المحلي وتحسين مستوى المعيشة عندهم وبالنسبة للزوار توصيل أكثر نسبة معينة من المعلومات بخصوص المحمية والحفاظ على هذه المنطقة الخضراء. Efforts to date have been rewarded. The reserve is now a popular destination for hiking and trekking, and the flow of visitors in recent years has been growing steadily with some breaks due to the phases of instability in Lebanon. In 2009, 40,000 visitors visited this area. About 60% of them were Lebanese, and 40% were from the Arab Gulf countries, Europe and America. There are four entrances to the reserve. Three of them are near the cedar forests of Baruch, Masar al Shuf, and Ain Salta. The fourth is near the archaeological site of Nicha. <laughs> كما بتشوفوا هون مثلا عندنا عندنا نخل التفاح عندنا شراب الورد عندنا نخل العنب شراب العطر القصعين شراب التوت وعندنا هون المربيات مثلا عندك التين عندك مربى البتنجان مربى الجوز مربى المشمش عندك دبس التفاح عندك مربى الكرز وعندك طبعا اكيد عسل الارز هسه نفوت شوي لجوا على الساحه بشرح لكم شوي عن عن غيبة المعاصر وبعدين منكمل على الطريق منكمل كل الشرح تنوصل لغيبة البروك About 100 kilometers of trails meander through the reserve, catching the visitors in the magical silence of these valleys and mountains. The extraordinary biodiversity of the earth is revealed to them, little by little. Over 500 species of plants grow here, including many medicinal, aromatic, and edible ones.
the beauty of these places has been described in the Epic of Gilgamesh, the Babylonian poem, as well as in the Old Testament and in numerous documents that have come to us through centuries of history. On the west side, the view extends from the surrounding villages to the sea. To the east, however, the reserve faces the anti-Lebanon mountain range that separates Lebanon from Syria with its mountains and snowy peaks, like Mount Hermon, that reaches 2,800 meters in height. From here, one can see a magnificent view of the Bekaa Valley and Lake Karaun. هيدي القنطة اللي عم نشوفها هون بتشرين ايلول تشرين بفتح الذكر بيطير البولا منه بهر على القنطة بهالطريقة هاي بتكون تمت عملية التلقيح الذكر بهر على الارض بتصفي القنطة تتكون لتطلع كوز يعني هيدا الكوز اللي عم نشوفه على الشجرة هو القنطة بده ثلاث سنين ليكتمل The rare wood of the cedar tree with its aromatic and lasting property was exploited by the Phoenicians for their commercial vessels and by the Babylonians. It was used in ancient Egypt to build temples, sarcophagi, and boats, by King Solomon for his temple, and by the Romans and the Ottomans. Today, the cedar of Lebanon remains a resource for the economy, not as a building material, but as a treasure to offer to tourists. أكبر أرزي عمره حوالي 3000 سنة برمت جزعة 16 متر بدها 12 شخص لا يعبطه. هاي تنعد أقدم أرزي بلبنان. بعدين كان في حدا من الشباب عم يسأل عن الغصن اليابس نحنا لا ما مشيله من الشجرة. من خبركم إنه الغصن اليابس بيفيدنا ثلاث شغلات. أول شغلة إنه بآخر الصيف كل شيء في عشب أخضر بده يجي بس في حشرات بيناتهم هالحشرة بدها تعمل بيت شوفوا وين بتعمل البيت هيدا الأدواح الصغير اللي مبين قدامكم هيدي الحشرة بتعمل بيت لها هون مين بيشوفها للحشرة يوا بتعمل بيت بيشوفها العصفور فبيفوت منقوده وبيشيلها وبيكلها بكون استفدنا من هيدي الخشبة اليابسة ثلاث شغلات أول شغلة أملنا بيت للحشرة ثاني شغلة أملنا غذاء للعصفور ثالث شغلي منانا الحشرة تطلع تشغل بالغصن الأخضر. In addition to hiking and trekking, the reserve is a privileged place for animal lovers and especially for bird watching. Lebanon is in fact located on a major migration path between Europe, West Asia and Africa. Twice a year, Millions of birds from around 200 different species fly over the country, stopping right in this oasis. The sky above the reserve is marked by the flight of beautiful birds of prey. Furthermore, the reserve provides habitat for many wild animals. At least 32 species of mammals, including 12 globally threatened, and 27 species of reptiles and amphibians are found here. For example, the wild boar, the grey wolf, the jungle cat and the wild cat, the golden jackal, the red fox, the porcupine, the striped hyena, the badger. Of course, seeing these animals in nature requires a good dose of luck and patience. Here we take the opportunity to show them inside the shelter of the animal encounter in Alley, a non-profit educational centre for wildlife conservation the only refuge across Lebanon in which injured wild animals, normally from trapping and hunting, can be cared for and in case of permanent wounds, are accepted permanently. Some of these species like the hyena, the wildcat, the badger or the wolf face extinction. The reserve is an ideal place for their recovery.
While the reserve is a great source of fun and new experience for the tourists, it's an excellent location to conduct research. Under the research and monitoring program, scientists and rangers collect valuable information about animal life using modern monitoring systems. This is بس كمان عندنا شغلة إنه بالشتاء الخنزير بيوطي لتح بيوطي شوي أكتر من الصيف لأن بيصير في تلج والتلج بيغطي المنطقة هون بينزل كرمال اللي يلاقي حماية وأكل بينما بالصيف بيضلوا هون ما في مشكلة هلا في عنا معلومات جمعناها من الحقل حول التنوع البيولوجي نأخذ فيهم جي بي إس بوينت مثل ما حكينا ونجي ندخلهم ببرنامج داتا بيز لحتى نجمع كل هالمعلومات ونحللها للمستقبل. The updated database provides study material for researchers. فينا نأخذ بعين اعتبار مدى تأثير الزوار على المحمية وعلى التنوع البيولوجي الموجود بالمحمية، مدى تأثير تغير المناخ والعوامل الطبيعية الموجودة على التكاثر الطبيعي للحيوانات الموجودة بالمحمية. Thanks to the protection of the reserve, the vegetation, forests and wildlife show clear signs of regeneration. This is an important accomplishment for the future of the country, whose environmental and biological resources are seriously threatened by human activity and climate change. Thanks to natural regeneration, and a carefully planned program of reforestation, the cedars of Lebanon are slowly recovering possession of this land, which had once covered it entirely. But there is a long road ahead. Throughout Lebanon, there are no more than 2,000 hectares of cedar left. The new challenges in Lebanon are the environmental changes. The new إنه التغيرات المناخية تأثر على التكاثر الطبيعي لغابات الأرز لأنه ما ما عاد عندنا كميات التلج اللي بيحتاجها اللي بتحتاجها غابات الأرز لتتكاثر، الأمراض ممكن إنه تزيد وخصوصا حركة الحشرات، وكمان من التوقعات البعيدة المدى إنه غابات الأرز تهجر إلى الأعلى. The Shouf Cedar Reserve does not only offer the enjoyment of nature. The ecotourism program provides different options, from one to five days of stay in the region and different trails and footpaths that lead visitors through the history, traditions and colors of these places. Here are some examples. Beit Adin, the complex where the Emir Bashir II exercised his power. This is the best example of 19th century Lebanese architecture, and it is a merger between Arab and Italian Baroque style. It was classified as a historic monument in 1934 and houses one of the largest collections of Byzantine mosaics. The panorama of Nika Fortress is found in the southwest of the reserve. From here, according to oral tradition, the Emir Fakhreddin made his last stand in his resistance to the Ottoman conquest in 1633. Here are the last remnants of a legendary fortress occupied by the Crusaders in the 11th century and used for centuries as a strategic point of observation on the road linking Sidon to the Bekaa Valley. Kamar, capital of Mount Lebanon since the 16th century, and residence of the governors of Lebanon until the 18th century. The palace of Muqtada, the Jumblat family palace, with its fountains and architecture that blends Eastern and Italian styles. The 
shrine of Nabi Ayub, which dominates the hill above Niha. Drew's holy place for worship and pilgrimage, erected in honor of the prophet Job. <laughs> the reserve offers accommodation of five traditional guest houses in the villages of Nicha, Badran, Kraibe, Masr al Shuf, and Baruch for visitors who choose to stay here. This is an ideal way to enjoy the typical family atmosphere of this mountain and its hospitality, and above all, to taste the natural flavor of Lebanese cuisine. But the discovery of the culinary traditions is not reserved to the visitors of the guest houses. It's the essence of the rural development program, which directly involves the local communities, and primarily women, in the production of food products derived solely from the territory of the reserve. Conservation and care for nature repays man with many gifts, like honey, olives, fruits, and herbs. The Al Shuf Cedar Society has set up three workshops in the villages of Mrusti, Badran, and Jiba for women and beekeepers. The program is now being oriented to organic production. شهادة العضوية اللي حصلت عليها محمية أرز الشوف لبعض المنتجات الريفية كانت بسنة 2009 اللي بيشجع كل الزوار اللي بيجوا على المحمية لحتى يأخذوا هذه المنتجات خلال زيارتهم اللي بتساعد حتى ل لتحيي مجتمع المحلي من إنتاج هذه المنتجات. To date, this activity has given support to 40 families and has provided a line of 70 different products such as jams, fruit preserves, herbs. Vinegar, honey, pollen, spirits, syrups, and more. Last but not least, the reserve offers environmental education. فنحن لازم نحافظ على كل شيء موجود بالطبيعه مش بس بالمحميه بالطبيعه كلها نحن لازم نحافظ على كل شيء موجود فيها حتى لو كان صغير كثير كثير بيكون هو نافع ب يعني نحن مش لازم نقتل شيء لانه بخل بالتوازن البيئي والتوازن الطبيعي اوكي حوالي 20% من زوار المحميه هن من طلاب المدارس كل سنه بالاضافه للزياره العاديه للطلاب منظم عدة نشاطات منها المحاضرات بالمدارس الألعاب التوعية البيئية اللي بتنعمل للطلاب بالمدارس وبالمحمية بالإضافة لحدث كتير مهم نشاط كتير حلو هو الرالي فور نيتشر سباق في الطبيعة بهيدا النشاط بشارك حوالي 600 طالب من مدارس رسمية وخاصة الموجودة بمنطقة الشوف وبالمناطق الأخرى الموجودة بلبنان This 
the double shabal. I I choose it because it's very nice and I see it in TV. And the color is very nice. And I choose them from this book. This. An important ecosystem, ecotourism, sustainable economy, research, and traditions. All these live in harmony in the Shuf Cedar Reserve. These children will one day have the task to look after this treasure. Our duty today is to deliver it intact into their hands.